Hi everyone, uh, you're on the channel 5 Min AI, and today we're going to build simple AI agent to chat with our data in the super base. Uh, let's get started and uh, we will start with the mm, previous example. Uh, in the previous uh, video, we built a uh, call analyzer where we analyzed calls. Uh, so we have results like uh, client intent, client needs, engagement metrics, uh, upsell opportunities, and so on. I generated multiple examples uh, for our database. So we will try to gather some information, um, ask GPT to aggregate, or maybe get average inter score, uh, find top uh, client intents, and so on. And after that, we will uh, build um, AI agent to talk with any data in your database. So this is how our database looks like. Uh, right now we have um, one table, it's demo calls with output. And this output is JSON. So the trick is to get this data from JSON and um, force AI agent to get this data from this JSON because it's simple to get table definition and see all fields, but in case of JSON, uh, AI agent requires to get um, one record to understand current JSON schema. Um, and after that, he will be able to build some SQL query to aggregate this data. So how AI agent looks like, uh, we added simple uh, chat trigger and AI agent with the uh, OpenAI functions uh, agent. So text, we mapped text from uh, previous model and uh, system message is simple your database assistant you need to run queries uh, you need to run custom sql queries and uh, you can fetch all data if you need to respond on user request um, the thing is that uh, we could use um, so and it then added a lot of uh, different tools and we could use superbase tool uh, but uh, if you try to build something flexible and for example uh, we want to make some mm, complex uh, request to database uh, this interface is quite limited because you can specify as expression data and table name and also you can add like string uh, filter but it will be still too limited to get um, some complex uh, aggregated data uh, that requires join multiple tables. So it's better to use uh, PostgreSQL queries to fetch uh, needed data. Uh, so I added this um, tool it's simple to uh, with pre default query uh, the idea is uh, that ai agent first need to get uh, one record from here to understand current structure uh, the case uh, for example we added different metrics and uh, we uh, decided to add more metrics or delete some metrics so we want to get on the last uh, created record to see the actual mm, schema of uh, this JSON. So I built simple query like select everything from demo calls where output is not new, uh, order by uh, date created and limit uh, one record. Um, description uh, that we that main data uh, for current case at least uh, is in demo calls table and uh, yeah in this output field and it has json type so yeah uh, we add all these uh, instructions and then we need to uh, give AI agent some tool to make uh, custom sql queries 
Um, you can try to do it with uh, this PostgreSQL uh, node with the uh, custom query, but again, I tried it multiple times to do that and uh, yeah, you need to go here, execute query, and here in the query you can just specify some expression with from AI. Here you can like um, uh, name and some description description of um, what uh, like it, it's actually SQL query uh, SQL query. You can specify it this way. Uh, so OpenAI will um, try to replace this uh, variable using this description and uh, prompt for this do. Uh, yeah, this one. Um, two mm, response for your request, but the problem is that this tool uh, still uh, works bad. I tried and I had a few errors. Uh, and uh, at the same time, I tried just to use simple uh, execute SQL query request, and it works well with the same query. So uh, it's not reliable right now but soon they will fix it and uh, because we can do that with this execute query uh, so to understand again it works well with uh, static prompts but it works um, it doesn't work at all uh, with um, dynamic queries so to do that we can uh, use um, jazz tool it's actually a run code tool where we uh, specify a description again. So we specify the run custom SQL query. Uh, this is a small um, advice uh, because uh, otherwise AI agent will, uh, based on my experience, it will start using different methods to get data from JSON, other methods before he will understand that he need to use this operator. So it's just a bit safe time for your yeah, agent and for you. Mm, yeah, and this JS code is about uh, using PG library. I don't know if it's a default one, but I have it uh, in my setup and you can check other videos where I show how to self host anything with all needed libraries. Uh, then you need to create connection. This is my connection. Mm. And uh, then you need to use this simple function where you mm, set up uh, like query and you like return JSON stringify uh, result because uh, this code tool requires to return, return single string always. Uh, and you specify this query with uh, this uh, query variable. It's um, default variable for this tool. And you can specify input uh, with schema or without. And I, I, I just provided this JSON example uh, with uh, this key. So I use this key here. Uh, it's optional one actually yeah and it works well uh, with all queries and we can uh, try to test it and of course you need to add uh, some model um, to AI agent uh, so we have uh, some data and for example I want to see top three client intents uh, yeah. uh, give me top three Client intents. We don't have a memory because it's optional again here. We don't we don't have any purpose of remembering uh, previous uh, communication with AI agent, but you can add it if you need for your case. And as you can see, we have top three client intents, and we can check. Uh, what's going on on the AI agent requests. So he just get uh, this um, example 
of uh, record to understand like output structure and after that uh, he will be able to select uh, all client intents and uh, yeah actually as you can see uh, it's not a really good one uh, query so you definitely need to fine-tune your prompt to get a um, better result because right now you just limited uh, like with three uh, a random intents uh, yeah and it tried to group by client intent so because our client intent it's uh, not as enumerated list uh, of of uh, static options we can't use uh, group by here uh, so it's better for him um, to get all results like all these records uh, and process these uh, intents and return uh, to us like top three but to do that you need to specify all these logic in the prompt somewhere here or on like SQL query level uh, okay it works well we can try again and ask for example we have a numeric uh, matrix uh, what is average intense score for example yeah and this one is much better because it's integer and you can get all um, you can get re all results and just do average function and get response uh, nice so the next step we want to uh, have access to all data in the database uh, for example, th this is this database is database for my product. Uh, so we have uh, files here, for example, calls that uploaded. So we have a number of files. We have names of files. Uh, also we have a logs, how what type of product what was used by uh, users. Uh, for example, I want to build an AI agent uh, to talk with any data in my database. To do that, uh, we need to give AI agent some additional tools. Uh, let's remove this and add to this one. Mm, to make him mm, able operate and get any uh, data about this table. Uh, what does it include? Uh, first of all, we need to give him tool uh, with database schema. So this is a default um, query to get database uh, table uh, description um, in the superbase. Um, it may be a bit different for different databases. Uh, yeah, and it will return all table uh, names. So AI agent will know uh, all tables and will be able to um, understand the structure uh, of your database and choose needed table. Uh, when he will choose needed table, uh, we also need, okay, uh, <laughs> gosh. We need to give him another tool that uh, get table definition with all columns and column types and all um, references to other table. Uh, and you can, as you can see, we specified here one uh, dynamic um, variable. I told you before that uh, it not working with the uh, dynamic uh, data in queries but it's more about uh, dynamic like full queries uh, I, I, ha I have no success with full queries but uh, if you have some variable 
that should be um, based here uh, in existing query it will work well so here we specify table name and we specify a description so now if you ask for example uh, count number of files in our database how many files were uploaded to database first of all yeah it's nine files let's check it three six nine well so first of all um, it tries to get uh, database schema and we will see like table name all tables so he see that uh, there's a table files and it tries to get definition of this table and it has it so we have a column names a path name we have a type we have a reference table if we for example this one products we have a link to products and profiles so um, for example if you will ask how many files was uploaded to some special product it will be able to understand that uh, files link to the product and we need to count uh, on the sum of them and prepare needed SQL query for example and after that yeah uh, it just creates simple query to count all files okay uh, how many many files linked um, to the product hmm. yeah it's four files like one two three four great well done uh, in this case uh, it remembers our previous request and I, I, I suppose it uh, remembers uh, all previous runs so there's no need to do the same run again uh, to understand database schema so it was able to build the SQL query without any additional tools and uh, it worked well uh, this is how you can build uh, AI agent to talk your database without any restriction you can add some additional uh, input source or you can save this result somewhere else you can generate reports uh, this is uh, what um, this is why i um, showed this example with call uh, analyzer because my client uh, asked me to build some reports uh, based on these metrics and with this tool you will be able to provide your client this chat so <laughs> there's no need to build trappers by yourself uh, and write SQL queries uh, like your client can just chat uh, with any data in the database and get uh, good insights so yeah subscribe to my channel um, like this video and uh, stay tuned uh, with 5 mil AI. Bye.